what the hell am I doing on YouTube right now? Am I doing podcasting? Am I vlogging? Am I making cooking videos? Am I making tech review videos? What exactly am I doing on this platform? Well, that's what I hope to answer with this video. But before I do that, before I do any of that and update you on this channel and, and what my, what the foundation is going to be moving forward, before I do any of that, I do need to say thank you. Thank you to all the subscribers and people who watched my videos, commented. It is because of you that I've come back to this platform time and time again. Because of those messages, the kind words, the hey, this video helped me with this, or this video helped me with that, or hey, where's the next, you know, when's the next video? I really need to thank you guys for rocking with me. And it's funny because I haven't posted videos consistently over the last two to three years. And my channel has actually grown <laughs> exponentially over that time. So that even surprised me that the content that I put out there, and it's a testament that, you know, what you really put out there, like it, it, it stays there. You know, once it's, once it's on the internet, <laughs> it's there, you know, for life. And I guess people had started to see some of my previous content and watched it and subscribed. And I appreciate that. I, I, I really do. And that's why I'm making this video, because I really feel like I owe it to you guys to tell y'all or at least explain to y'all what I'm trying to do and what the direction that I'm going with this channel. So you can decide if you if this is still a channel that you want to be subscribed to um, or engage with, because. I, and, and again, it's nothing personal. I get it. When I first started on, you know, watching videos on YouTube. You know, I, I would watch people like Casey Neistat, right? And the vlogging was like the big thing during that time. And now I, I hardly even watch those type of streamers. I don't really even think vlogging is really a thing like it used to be back then. So content changes, people change, people evolve, people have other interests and whatnot. But I want to make sure that I'm upfront and honest with you guys. So that way, you know exactly what to expect from me. So that way, you know, there's just there's just no confusion because I know that there's a lot of people who found my channel because I made a video talking about relocating from New York to Dallas. And I know it's helped a lot of people. And I'm very proud of that video because when I first started thinking about moving or relocating and I was looking up information, I was looking on YouTube, I really didn't find a lot of, you know, I, I couldn't really find that video or, or content that really, I felt like kind of spoke to me in terms of the things that I cared about. And so when I was able to make that video and to find out how many people, again, to this day, that's like, Hey, I watched that video. And that's the reason why I, I moved to back to Dallas or, um, I decided to move to this place or that place. It gave me the courage to just kind of pick up and go. I'm very appreciative of that because that was the goal of that video was like, hey, I want to inform people of the things that I'm going through right now. And it's just awesome to know that people have taken that and it's actually helped them in making their decision. Right. And then there are people who might be subscribed to me because of a podcast. Right. Built for anything podcast. Now, at that time period, this is before covid. Um, I was doing a lot of podcasts and interview style. Uh, with a lot of different people in the Dallas area, a lot of different creatives, entrepreneurs. And I'm very, very proud of those videos. Like I grinded hard on those videos, like bust my ass. It was a one man show, my equipment, my home. <laughs> um, I did all the editing. Like I put a lot of effort and a lot of time into those videos and I'm very proud of them. And I'm very proud that I was able to have those conversations with all of my guests. Um, but I also understand like that's that's also something that I'm not going to be able to completely focus on, because when you're trying to do that type of style of podcasting, um, it's, it's very difficult because you're you're you, you're basically at the mercy of your guest schedule. And it's hard to be consistent when you know that, OK, number one. I got to make sure that it's the right time and place for you. Um, 
you know, it, I, I don't necessarily want to have to do that um, in person in my home. Um, I do still prefer to do podcasts in person, um, but I understand like doing it virtual is, is a big thing now. Um, but just the whole landscape of podcasting, I would just say it's something that I really enjoyed. Um, like I said, as before getting on YouTube, uh, I was a financial advisor. And so a lot of my time and work was sitting down across from families, across from different people and talking to them about their retirement and their future. And I gained a lot of skills with just talking to people and looking at mannerisms and trying to get certain information out of them in order to um, be relatable and engage. And it, it translated very well to the podcast scene. And that is something that I do want to continue to do in terms of bringing people to this platform, to you guys, that I think is really interesting that you guys could kind of learn or just kind of be entertained by the conversation that I have with this, with these people. Um, I still, I do still want to do that. It's just that my, my biggest focus right now in terms of being consistent on this platform is having to rely on myself for the content and not having to necessarily, especially early on, having to, you know, really try to get other people on board, right? Like that takes a lot of time and effort. And I just rather put that effort here into the channel. And as things grow and we get to where we want to be, um, then I, I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot easier for me to then go out and say, hey, I want you to be on my platform. Um, let's, let's, let's collaborate or let's try to bring this content to my viewers and your viewers, right? Um, so that's, that's the update when it comes to that. OK, um, and then there's just other people that may have come to my videos because of vlogs. Um, I, again, very appreciative. Um, I'm going to still continue to use this platform to share my experiences and whatnot. So definitely stick stick for that. Um, but here's where I'm trying to go with things. OK, because I do believe that now is a great time. And I'm talking to you if you are somebody who is thinking about starting a channel because for me, I feel like I'm starting over. Although I've come back to a channel that has 16, 17,000 subs, um, I feel like I'm starting over. I feel like I'm at ground zero, okay? And it's exciting. I'm, I'll be honest with you, it's very exciting. Um, but I also understand like there's gonna be that period of people just kind of seeing what I'm putting out there. And you know, I'm gonna have to filter through who's here, to see my content and who's here because they just forgot that they were subbed, right? And then I'm also gonna be welcoming in new subscribers as well. So I want them to know what to expect because they may see some of my old content and think that, okay, am I gonna be getting more of that or am I gonna be getting more of what he's doing right now? And so that's the purpose of this video and hopefully that made sense with what I've done in the past. So let's, let's talk about the future, okay, the future. And here's what I could tell you right now. I am very serious about doing this potentially full time. I'm very serious about earning your subscription, earning your clicks. Um, and the way I plan on doing it is I'm going to focus on three things. Being consistent. Okay. Being inspiring. And being entertaining. Okay. That's, that's going to be like the three pillars that I go by before or as I'm thinking about videos that I want to present to you guys. And so what does that mean is I want to be able to take advantage of all the tools that we have in front of us now, where whether that is YouTube shorts, whether that is also cross platforming with Twitch um, in terms of, you know, gaming or live streaming there. I want to do more live streams on this platform here. So expect that. Um, but I also want to do more reviews and and reactions on the things that's happening around us. The world is very different today than it was than it was three years ago. Very different. Um, I feel like there's a lot of disingenuous uh, dialogue and rhetoric that's going out here right now that I want to be able to provide my perspective on a lot of these views and connect with like minded people, but also be able to connect with people who think otherwise and have interesting dialogue with them around that. So I do want to be able to use my platform for the better. Okay. And that is always going to be my focus, but I'm going through a period right now where I'm trying to see what, which part of this content is for who and where should it be? 
Okay. And that's why I need your help. The, the likes, the comments, the views, like these things help me determine, okay, is this video for my, my audience here or is it not? And so if you see me putting out, you know, content that, you know, you haven't seen before and whatnot, um, it's probably because of that. I'm trying to gauge, okay, where, who is this for? Okay. But always remember, it's always about being consistent. It's always about inspiring you guys to be better and, and just whatever it is that you're doing your everyday life. Um, and it's always going to, my goal is to try to be entertaining as possible. Okay. And so I don't want to make this video too long, but I really felt like I needed to have this sit down with you guys and just kind of let you guys know what my focus is. So again, I want to spread things out a bit. Uh, you'll be seeing me on Twitch. If you are somebody who likes that content and like the game or like to, you know, just that long form, just hanging out live streaming, check me out over there. Um, I do plan on doing like dual streams where it's going to be on YouTube and you and Twitch. So you don't necessarily have to leave YouTube. If you don't, you know, rock with Twitch, that's fine. We're going to, we're going to have a good time over here as well. Um, but I also want to be able to cover a lot of mainstream topics and things that's going on around us. I want to be able to have that type of conversation um, and make a show of what it is that we're doing. This is for us. You know, I want to build this platform. I want to be able to connect with you guys more. And so the more you engage with me, the more I'm going to be able to engage with you and just know that, you know, your boy, I, the, the, I'm back, man. Like, like I, I'm back. I'm focused. Um, I feel good about what I'm doing. Um, I'm serious about it. I'm excited about it. Um, shit. Like even with YouTube, like right now, like your boy, I ain't, I'm not even monetized on here. And it doesn't even bother me. Like, I'm good. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not tripping at all. I'm not focused on it, on any of that stuff. I just want to be able to provide good content to you guys. And that's all I'm going to try to do. And so if you're here and you're still rocking with me, I appreciate you. And just know that, look, it's, <laughs> it's up from here, baby. Like, <laughs> like it's up. Like we going, we going, we going to take this to the next level, man. And we, you, you going to be. You're going you're gonna to have a good time and we're going to get some things done and we're going to have it, just just rock with your boy, man. And thank you once again for all you guys support. I appreciate it. Let's go.